Hey everyone, Christian back here, and I want to do a little vlog about Sable Miner, and I might have done a video on Sable Miner before, but this is going to be a special kind of like two-part vlog, where I'm going to discuss uh, the, the different types of Sable Miner, because it does grow and looks very different from one another, uh, the varieties that there are. So this is the larger version of Sable Miner, so this is <clears throat> about, this is a, a mature plant, you can see it's uh, flowering and seeding here kind of at the same time. So you have a smaller seed there. Um, Miner's gonna generally have a smaller seed, which, um, I mean, about the same size as palmetto. It's not one of the larger seeded ones. But this is, uh, some people call this plant sable, they call it uh, major miner, meaning kind of like a large version of sable miner. This isn't the largest version. Um, the largest version that I see is, are the ones out in Louisiana called sable miner variation Louisiana. It's, this is probably in between. This is the kind that you would find, say, in like North Florida. So um, basically just a crown of leaves sitting on the ground with uh, flower space just, you know, fairly upright. And that can, that can vary quite a bit depending on the type of uh, civil miner that you're growing. So this one, uh, like I said, kind of grows. This variation I've seen kind of like north of Orlando uh, into, north, into kind of like the Tallahassee area, maybe up to Jacksonville. And will grow, I believe, all the way up into the upper southeast. Uh, and it will grow, um, you know, further west a little bit. And then once you get to uh, into Louisiana, you kind of get a more, uh, a much larger plant. The plant will be uh, five, six feet tall and have huge leaves. And they kind of, they stand out from the road. They're kind of like the equivalent of saw. When you see saw palmettos in um, Florida... It's kind of like the Louisiana equivalent of that because they don't grow not saw palmettos, saw palmettos don't grow naturally in Florida. So this is the larger version that's here in the property. Let's go over to the, the smaller version there. So here we are over another area and you can see right here, at the, you know, at the reach down and touch the leaf, the leaves are only about 18 inches tall and they're also flowering and fruiting the same size fruit. And this is kind of the dwarf version of Sable Miner. And uh, it you know, still has some upright uh, uh, flowering structures to it, but I've seen them very floppy even laying on the ground, which is interesting. It tends to be in a little more shade when I see that, but this is going to grow in some of the drier, scrubby climates, uh, you know, coastal Florida, uh, along the coast there. There's quite a number of black flies, unfortunately. Uh, so there might be some kind of food laying around. But, uh, yeah, this is kind of grows in a the, in the scrubbier area. It makes sense because these are smaller they don't get as beefy because they were not given as much nutrients growing in more sand more you know uh nutrient poor soils so you have this in fact there's one garden i visited in um in a town called mcclenny florida west of jacksonville and this guy had like 10 or 12 variations of, of this plant and one of them was you know this tiny one was this tiny but the flower was twice as tall and then flopping over and uh, then some really big ones like the, the Louisiana variation. So this will grow along the coastline pr pretty much along most of Florida. Uh, it's, you know, its natural habitat's been obviously mostly destroyed thanks to development. Uh, and, you know, it's unfortunate. Uh, that's a whole different topic that I'm not going to get into in this video. But, uh, yeah, uh, there's a few species of uh, Florida palms that have kind of been critically endangered thanks to that but there's this also will, will grow inland a little bit in some of the drier sandy dunes you'll find kind of in north central florida and the in the hills stuff like that so um yeah they're both going to be equally cold hardy although this may be a little bit easier to if you want a palm in your yard to that's easily uh protected in the winter all you really have to do is take these leaves together i mean they they'll, they'll move and uh, they're very flexible and kind of put them together under like a big bucket and uh, they'll keep any kind of snow or frost off of them. And they should handle, like I said, 15 degrees, even even less, 10 degrees. So it's known to be quite a cold hardy plant. Um, you know, this this species grows in tandem with the, with the needle palm, you know, uh, Rapidophyllum hystrix in, you know, a lot of the areas. So, um, again, this is not one of my fortes, these smaller, uh, more cold hardy plants. There's a lot of guys that do a lot of research on these, specifically cold hardy ones. Um, and, you know, guys in Georgia, Tennessee, Alabama, South Carolina, and they are, they're, they're definitely, uh, you know, they are really committed to growing 
uh, palms in their climates. So anyway, I wanted to kind of make that uh, video kind of showing the differences in Sable Minor and you know, the opportunity. If you want to get this type of uh, plant, definitely get the Sable Minor that, you know, find the mother plant. Make sure you're getting the right size one because they come in all shapes and sizes. This, this just happens to be two of them. So they are anywhere from about this size, maybe a little bit smaller, all the way up to about six feet uh, in length. I'm sorry, six feet in height. And uh, I mean in length of the fronds as well, but uh, and as far as protecting goes, these will be easier to protect. The other ones are better for like hedging. So, um, you know, choose the miner that you would want most in your garden. So I'll leave it there. Um, if you enjoyed watching, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe and uh, you'll see many more palm videos. And if you have any questions about Sable Miner, leave them down below, and I'll get back to you guys as soon as possible. Thanks.